Hi, I'm Dr. Lancelot Pinto. I'm a chest physician with the PD Hinduja Hospital. Uh, a lot of patients have been sending me messages uh, thanking me and thanking the team at Hinduja for the work that we are doing for the COVID-19 epidemic. Uh, I would, in return, like to thank everybody out there who's being very sensible about the lockdown, who's staying indoors, uh, not being irresponsible about their own health and about the health of others. Because we are in this together and because we are respecting the lockdown is the reason why our hospitals are not overwhelmed with patients yet and why we are being able to serve you responsibly and in a timely manner. The questions I'm getting asked at this stage, of course, uh, don't have much to do with the actual virus because I think there's a ton of information out there. The question that gets asked again and again is what, what's next? When will the lockdown end? What happens after that? And the only answer to that I have is that there are three things which are going to be extremely important for our future. Whether the lockdown ends or not, whether it gets extended or not. Number one, hand washing. We need to continue washing our hands absolutely rigorously and making sure that they stay clean. You would need at least 20 seconds of hand washing with simple soap and water. Do it as often as you can, especially when you've been out and you've come back home, especially when you've touched surfaces uh, that, that may uh, have virus on them. Uh, hand washing and not touching your face go hand in hand together. So that's rule number one. The second request that I would make everybody is to continue to maintain social distancing. Uh, I think staying at least two meters away from other people is going to be the norm and extremely important for us to overcome this virus over the next uh, few months. And the third request is to wear a mask. I think masks are going to be our, our strongest allies in this fight against the virus. A simple surgical or a simple disposable mask that covers the nose and the mouth suffices. It's extremely important to cover the nose. A lot of people just pull it down and that doesn't serve its purpose anymore. Uh, it's not necessary to wear an N95 mask. Those masks are needed only for individuals who work in extremely high risk situations like doctors. You would want those masks to be preserved for your healthcare providers and for people who need it the most. Uh, for routine day-to-day -day interactions, you do not really need ma you do not really need N95 masks, and simple surgical masks should serve, serve the purpose. So three things again: frequent, frequent, frequent hand washing, social distancing, and wearing a mask, uh, especially when you step out of the house. I think these are the three things that are extremely important and will really help us keep this virus under check uh, and not explode over the next few months. Thank you.